replenishing muscle glycogen. Muscle glycogen is a store of glucose in your horse's muscles. So essentially it's starch, this stuff, but the starch that your muscles make. So it's not called starch anymore, it's called glycogen. Um, it's the only fuel that muscles can burn during high intensity exercise. So whenever a horse is galloping, um, it's the only fuel that their muscles can, can actually utilize. Um, and horses are useless, completely useless at replenishing their muscle glycogen compared to humans. So um, it takes them two to three times longer to replenish their muscle glycogen than it does for us to do it. We're actually quite efficient um, at replacing our muscle glycogen supplies. So the most important factor seems to be um, how well a horse is hydrated. So a dehydrated horse is going to have a very, very hard time of um, rebuilding its muscle glycogen supplies. So if you, if you come in off a cross country, um, a very, very hot cross country, and you've got a really, really dehydrated horse, trying to get its muscle energy levels back up so it can do show jumping the next day um, is going to be impossible unless you get that horse well rehydrated and get its electrolyte levels back to where um, they should be. Feeding grain probably helps. Um, so if you read the studies looking at glycogen repletion in horses, unfortunately they use things like cracked corn as the grain and we've we looked at, it just, you don't get much glucose out of cracked corn because they can't break it down um, in the small intestine and absorb it as glucose. So I, I would like to think that if you did these studies again but with an extruded grain you would actually get quite a different result. Um, so extruded grains will give your horse the best chance of replenishing muscle glycogen because the starch in them is actually chopped up and absorbed as glucose in the small intestine. So hopefully the muscles would then use that glucose to make glycogen.